Libra. Hello. It's time for your 2024 cast. Libra, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please check your charts. This resonates with you. Good deal. If not, it doesn't matter because this is supposed to be happening in the future. We don't know if it's going to resonate or not. We'll find out when we go back to it later. I actually did these last year when I first started doing readings. So you can check that out and see if it goes with your story so far. Either way, I really don't give a shit. Let's play, guys. Let's play. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Are you leaving 2019? Like, you ain't doing dick. You're not taking any passionate action anywhere. Not to a lover. Not to even things you like. Not to your dog. Not to that toilet where you really need to go tinkle. You ain't doing nothing. You aren't leaving with any passionate action or intentions at all. Or maybe you're leaving behind a fire sign. I don't know. But I feel like something... Hold on. I'm not... Like, I'm not taking leaps and bounds. Like, you're not exerting enough that kind of energy. Not going full force, I feel like. Uh, the first quarter, my dear Libras, we got um, debauchery or debauch. It's just like you're letting that shit go. Seven of Cups, it's like all this is toxic and I don't like this shit no more. It's bad for the soul, you know? Like, so you're leaving something negative behind, I'll say. Uh, second quarter, we got the hanged man, that Pisces energy, or you're at a crossroads. Oh, we got the magician reverse in the third quarter. And then, last quarter of the year, the lovers... Wait, no, that's luxury. My bad, ha, four cups reverse. Luxury, it is not. Hmm. Libra, you have a Like, your year has been really fucky, honestly, I'll have to say. Very fucky. But interesting, nonetheless. Now, let's see. Ah. So this first quarter, right, like, you're leaving behind a negative, you're leaving behind shit that's, like, really not good options for you, it doesn't help you out or anything like that, right? Oops. Yeah, there ain't no love in it, and you want to get out of that pizzazz, it's not that jazz. It's not the jazz you like with that ass, it leaves you with no sass, you know, and you want to do it quick step. Like, you could be plotting, you could be, like, setting something up or whatever, but you want this shit to be over with and be over with quick. It's like you're making New Year's resolutions. You're like, I'm going to stick to them this year. You know, you're determined, man. But you're leaving 2019 with a lack of energy, too. Or you could be preserving your energy for the shit that you need to get done. And, not, and you're cutting out the bullshit that's not helping you. Maybe that's why you are, like, showing off and being groovy and all that shit, right? All right, second quarter with this hanged man, like, at a crossroads of shit, right? Waiting patiently for that time. But it feels like you can't take a fucking nap during the second quarter. It's like, I'm at a crossroads. I think you're going through an enlightening stage, y'all. Lots of indecisions, yeah. Oh my, Libra. Yeah, I think a lot of you are going to be going through your little spiritual awakening. Yeah. The best parts about spiritual awakening is that people think that they're so gentle, but in reality, it's kind of like, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. You know, like you go through that shit and then you realize you fucking are. But after a while, you just accept it. And then everything comes so much more easier in life. It really does. I promise. You just got to watch your steps, though, if you're going to go through that. But I feel like you're going through a motion where, like, This crossroads is putting you in a position where, like, you might not be able to remove yourself out of this any other way than doing whatever it might be that, like, you are having the decisions about in the coming year. Like, you know what you want to get rid of, but there's still things on your mind that's troubling you that you're trying to get past. 
in the third quarter with this maid just reversed. You might have been dealing with a black magician or something. Or somebody wasn't able to manipulate with things the way they thought it would go. Ooh, you get a book. No, 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 you don't. I lied. Um, person tried to sustain stamina with the four of wands, keep a door open, but unfortunately that opportunity was gone. Uh, the wheel had started turning in this regard. Like, this part, like, time's up, nigga. Like, you know, like, it's over with. It's done. Get off the bus. The, the route's over. We're all done here. You know. Like, the Wheel of Fortune turned on this. It's just like, yeah, the door was open, but, like, it had to be closed at some point. You know, we, we, can't, we can't hold it up forever. There are bugs and shit, and we don't have a bug zapper. Yeah, so the Wheel has turned on that situation with this magician person. Last quarter, luxury, this is not. Four of Cups... That opportunity and change, just like over here, it's no longer a luxury as much as it is, like, something different, which I, I, I think it's a price, honestly. But yeah, you guys are doing the whole awakening shit. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know why you're going through it, but I guess it's your turn. Um, but Ace of Swords, powerful, dynamic. There's a truth in this, that these luxuries is no longer a luxury anymore, and it's like it's paying a price now. King of Cups. Someone used their magic powers for the wrong fucking reasons. Could have been this magus, I feel like. Because, like, the King of Cups, the Viner Sage, I always think yeah, he could be a magician, too. And that make a lot of sense. Ooh, you guys get a big book, but I'll give it to you. Uh, you're gonna have to make a choice somewhere. Uh, whether or not it's balance is, like, the main objective for you. I feel like it's not going to come to that, but you're going to balance it the way you feel like it will be balanced. Right. Possibly dealing with an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Anchor essence. They are not. Like, no attachment to them or whatever it is, right? Dealing with something from the past that caused um, lovers to separate or somebody making a decision or no decision at all, honestly. Twin soul, wherever ends, whatever it is, la, 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 la. Um, but there was some sort of connection or adaptation to choice. Uh, that someone either may took the wrong one or they didn't make one at all. Like, take your pick, if you will. Um, not even being shy and timid about what they did either. It is flat out like it took all their clothes off and flashed everybody, and like, you know, it's over. Right? Thinking that was conniving, and savvy, and genius, and all that did was cause a whole bunch of fucking problems. People being tormented and shit. You just completely lost your shit on this magician, too. Did you... Was somebody fucking around behind your back, like, sabotaging you, and you guys figured it out? Or is it something different? Because I feel like this Queen of Swords really wants to stab this magician. And now it's like his luck is over and done with. Because he's reversed now. It's like you cut this motherfucker out of your life. Be like, it's over. It's done. I'm free. Yay. Finally. You know. Queen of Cups. Reverse. Shaman Enchanter. Ew. Fuck is this plot twist? Who's this bitch? Who is this bitch? <laughs> Shaman Enchanter and a Diviner and a fucking Sage. Both of them for the wrong fucking reasons. What the hell, Libra? Who are these people? What are these individuals doing right here? The truth is you find two people who are not who they say they are. Or is there a pairing here with two really shitty people who actually end up together? And you want none of that. Because 2020 is supposed to be the year where everyone who's shitty goes with themselves. And, we're, and no one else has to deal with that shit ever again. But that's beside the point. Anyway, how are you entering 2020? He ain't talking shit. Nothing. No. I ain't putting energy into this bullshit. And I sure as hell am not, like, going to entertain it any longer. Like, you're cutting the bad out by the end of the year, Libra. At least that's what I heard. That's what I heard. Like, you're just like, I'm done. 
with all of you. Please get the fuck out of my house. Don't touch my cat. She doesn't like you anyway. You know, like you're you're singing songs to people as you tell them to get out of your life, you know? Making sure it's pleasant so they don't hate you as you do it. <laughs> Let's see. Nine of Wands up here. This is going to take a lot of fucking strength to deal with, bruh. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's going to take a lot. I feel like it's more like restricting yourself from that stuff, too. Because it's, it's going to be an interference for you, I feel like. Or you feel like it's going to become an interference. One of the two. All right, let's see. Second quarter. <coughs> Eight of Wands reverse. Uh, swiftness, this is not. This shit's gonna feel like it's gonna take forever in the second quarter. Like, you're just gonna be like, when is this shit gonna be over and done with? You know, like, I feel like you're gonna be going through that. I don't know who I'm channeling right now, but whoever you are, I like your fucking spirit. You get me going. You're cool. You're fun. I wanna hang out and buy you mimosas just to see what you do. Or listen to the shitty songs. Hmm. All right, third quarter. You gotta be dealing with the fire sign for sure, Libra. This is uh, Leo's card. Lust or strength, traditionally. Um, but this is someone who keeps falling for fucking temptations. And I think that's probably why you're getting rid of this magician guy who's all underneath of this stuff. Because it's like, how am I supposed to put up with you if you don't even have the self-discipline not to do the dumb shit I gotta save you from every time? I feel like that's some, somebody, whoever I'm channeling is a badass bitch, cause like, damn, I like you. I like your fucking energy. Like, definitely a lot of life in you. But you're just not putting up with whoever. Last quarter, Princess of Cups. Mm. You're probably gonna have to be nice to these fucking idiots. You probably are. They might even try to offer you some niceness back. Don't you fall for that. Don't don't you do that. I feel like threesome. I just want to say threesome. Whoever you are, don't do a threesome because I feel like that's a bad idea. Especially this last quarter. I feel like this is a such I, I feel like that's a trap card with that princess of cups here. I feel like someone's just gonna throw you a curveball. And you're gonna look at them like, um like, if there are people involved, and, uh, like, I don't know where this is coming from, but if there's a threesome involved, right, and you were really interested in that couple at the last quarter, especially the last quarter, I don't feel like it has anything to do with the rest of the year, but this last three months of the year of 2012, right, there might be people who come up to you being like, you know what, me and my husband thought you were really cute. No. 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 I feel like you need to take your time... To figure out how the relationship dynamic works. So you know what kind of drama you're going to step into if you would decide to step into that shit. Um, it doesn't have to be, but I feel like someone's going to be on a sexual adventure. And that's going to come up. And if that comes up, please watch how they treat each other so you know how they might treat you. Because I feel like they're going to hurt your feelings on purpose to make themselves get turned on. You know, like a kink or something, right? Damn, Libra, look at you with your hoe going on. Mm, I appreciate that. Whoever I'm channeling, I love you. I love you. <laughs> You're cool shit, I have to say. You're figuring your stuff out. You're getting that booty. But I also feel like you're... It, like, this is so much about restriction. It's like, it's like you're dealing with somebody throughout the year, and then a couple comes up being like, we think you're cute. Don't, don't go... No, who cares if they think you're cute? Nobody. Nobody at all. Don't even give a shit if they think you're cute. Like, that's nice. Thank you for the compliment, but bye. How you're leaving? Um, 2020. How that year will end for you. Knight of Cups reverse. Yeah, you still ain't offering a damn thing. And that's probably for the better. Especially over here to this, um, magician. Oh shit, that magician might actually bring in this bitch. Yeah. Uh, Queen of Cups could be a mistress. Motherfucker might try to invite that bitch in the house and be like, you know, hey, I, I, maybe, like, I know you, I know you don't approve, 
But I thought maybe if I brought her home and you saw her, because I know that's how you are, baby. Uh, maybe we could all have some fun together. You better throw them the fuck both out your house. <laughs> I feel like that could be a thing. I feel like this person might be trying to come in, do some shit, and then, like, maybe that's, like, that whole scenario. Like, someone wants to bring in a third party. And you know who this third party is. And you're just... Or, or you maybe you don't even know them. Maybe they're just bringing them in to introduce you within the first quarter. Within the third quarter, you already figure out they're full of shit, right? But by the, thir by the fourth quarter, you figure out who this other bitch is, and it's just like, we're this other bastard. Whichever one you want to take, right? But then you figure out, wait a minute, why are y'all hanging out here and, like, giving me compliments and shit? What the fuck's going on here? And then you're watching how they are together. And then, out of nowhere, um... Sir Majelot is just like, hey, I want to get it on, but I don't want to get it on alone with you. I feel like I want to make this a special night, right? And and yeah, and you're just gonna have to sit there and be like, you have lost your damn mind. Get out of my house, Jesus. Hmm. <laughs> But both these motherfuckers are suspect, and they're trying to offer you cup. No, don't do it, okay? Don't do it. But, Libra, that's what I got for your um, 2020 year prediction, right? So, take that as you will. Mm, but, I'm proud of you guys. There you go. All right. Love you guys' faces. You all have a good year. I will see you, I think, after January 13th is when I'm going to come back with the Zodiacs. But, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.